This tutorial will show you how to set up and record audio into Logic Pro. The first thing we need to do is add an audio track. At the moment I've still got the two ones that I left from my last recording video tutorial. So I need to add another track, which you do by clicking on New Tracks, which is the plus. We want to go from a software instrument to an audio instrument. I'm only going to have one track and I want it to be mono. I need my input to be number two because that's the input I'm using, although you may need it on another one, maybe on one. And then you choose create. Now, like the virtual instrument, Logic will immediately open the media browser. And the reason why it will do this is because it will give you options for what different types of audio tracks you can use. Now, obviously you can use it dry like we're going to do in a minute, but there are various presets that you might want to look into not least the electric guitar ones, which when you click on the preset electric guitar, you can actually choose different electric guitar sounds. So for instance, you could have a 70s stack, or you could go back and look and see if you can want a modern UK stack, which would be a, quite a loud, distorted sound. Or you could go for some really weird effects if you wanted to, by going to warped processes, and some sort of strange thing you can choose from there. As you can see for almost every single instrument you can plug into Logic, including vocals, there is presets which will allow you to give you uh, a, a Logic type preset sound which may enhance your track. I'm not going to choose those. I'm going to leave it dry for the time being. The next thing I'm going to do is get my guitarist to play in a couple of chords. So I set up the track and I'll press record and it gives me a bar in. Before I press record there is a couple of things to bear in mind. First of all make sure the tracks record enabled which I'll do by pressing the R button and as you can see it starts flashing. Now sometimes it will ask you to choose a folder. Make sure you choose that folder carefully because that'll be the one it always refers to. Then the next thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got it in the right place. So I want to record into bar 5 and I go and press record and I'm ready to go. Now unfortunately because of this setup you won't be able to hear me play it in but it will play back in a minute. This is nothing to do with audio monitoring just simply the software I'm using to record this tutorial with. Okay, that's now recorded in. As you see, we have a couple of waveforms there. 